the axis of symmetry is an imaginary line about which a molecule is rotated in such a way that when the molecule is rotated through 360 degrees the equivalent appearance is repeated n times if the equivalent appearance is repeated n times we call the axis as cm in the equivalent appearance is repeated two times we call it as c2 when it is repeated for three times we call it as c3 and so on if we look at the water molecule the axis of rotation present in water molecule is the c2 axis the axis of symmetry passes through the oxygen atom it bifurcates the two oxygen hydrogen bonds and it is present in the molecular plane that is a plane containing the oxygen and the two hydrogen atoms if i rotate the molecule through 180 degrees that is half a circle we get an equivalent appearance in which the two hydrogen atoms are interchanged the two green atoms or the hydrogen atom and the yellow atom is the oxygen atom if i rotate it through another 180 degrees there is a total of 360 degrees we see that the original appearance is reverted back that is during 360 degree rotation first after 180 degree rotation we get an equivalent appearance through the next 180 degree rotation that is a total of 360 degree rotation we get the second equivalent appearance so during 360 degree rotation the equivalent appearance is repeated two times and we call this as a c2 axis now let us have a look at the c2 axis present in water molecule from a different diagram in this diagram the two hydrogens are labeled in different colors one in yellow and another is green both are identical but just to distinguish between these two we have used different coloration when it is rotated through 180 degrees about the c2 axis we get this appearance in which the atoms are interchange but the appearance is equivalent if we rotate it through another 180 degrees that is a total of 360 degrees we get the original molecule original appearance that is getting repeated so during a rotation of 360 degrees the original appearance is repeated two times and so the axis is known as c2 axis the yellow atom the middle represents a boron atom and the three corners are with the three chlorine atoms the green atoms are the chlorine atoms at the corner and the yellow atom is the boron atom the shape of the molecule is trigonal planar the an imaginary axis passes through the central boron atom which is perpendicular to the molecular plane that is a plane containing boron and the three chlorine atoms and if i consider this imaginary axis and if i have the molecular of the chlorine atom that is a green atom which is at the top when we move through 120 degrees we get an equivalent appearance when i move through another 120 degrees that is 240 degrees i get the second equivalent appearance and when i move through a third 120 degrees that is 360 degree i get the third equivalent appearance in total on movement through 360 degrees we get the same appearance thrice and so this imaginary axis is a c3 axis if i consider the boron ray chloride molecule to be triangular in shape like this and these three lines represents these three lines represent the three bonds present in boron ray chloride molecule and the axis passing through the central boron atom represents the c3 axis and 
please note the triangle when i move through 120 degrees i get the first appearance through another 120 degrees i get the second appearance through a third 120 degree i get the original appearance back so when rotation is made through 360 degrees we get the same original appearance getting repeated three times and so this is a c3 axis the same thing can be represented like this in which we have colored the chlorine atoms differently the c3 axis is shown to be perpendicular to the molecular plane passing through the boron atom when rotated through 120 degrees the position of all the chlorine atoms change when it is repeated by another 120 and a third 120 degrees total of 360 degrees the same appearance is getting repeated three times and so this is a c3 axis alternatively when we have an imaginary axis passing through the boron atom and the chlorine atom that is the yellow atom and the green atom there is a bond connecting the boron and the chlorine atom if i rotate it through 180 degrees i get the same appearance equivalent appearance and when i rotate it through another 120 180 degrees i get the same appearance getting repeated that is during a 360 degree rotation about uh, this axis which passes through the boron chlorine bond we get the appearance getting repeated two times one at 180 degrees and another at 360 degrees and so this is a c2 axis and since there are three bcl bonds there will be three c2 axis present this is shown like this the bond passes through the bcl bond and when the molecule is rotated the through 180 degrees the about the c2 axis that passes through the bcl bond we find that the position of the chlorine atom on the c2 axis is not disturbed while the other two chlorine atoms are interchanged we have three boron chlorine bonds and so three c2 axis and totally we have the three c2 axis which are present in the molecular plane along the boron chlorine bonds and we have one C c3 axis and three c2 axis present in bcl3 molecule the axis having the highest order n that is c3 axis has a higher order than the c2 axis and so c3 axis is the principal axis in the bcl3 molecule this can be shown in this cardboard model like this if i uh, find uh, an uh, axis imaginary axis along the bcl bond like this if i turn through 180 degrees i get the same appearance if i turn through another 180 degrees the same appearance is getting repeated and so this is a c2 axis thank you now if let us see that the axis of symmetry is an imaginary line about which a molecule is rotated such that n equivalent appearances are obtained when rotated through 360 degrees thank you